Welcome back. This is where we left off authorizing the Zotero connector. So how does this work? In this first way, I will show you the Zotero connector while I have Zotero open on my computer. This is my library, these are all my folders, and I made a new folder for video games that is currently empty. I will keep Zotero running, just minimize it for now. I did a search from JetFind to find a few articles. This third one looks good. I click Get Access. Remember that you might have to log into the library resources if you haven't already done so. And then I will download the PDF. This yellow bar up here is telling you that Zotero noticed you went through a proxy. Click Accept. and then download the PDF. It's always best to pull up the PDF of the article if possible. Now I left click on my Zotero icon. It's saving two video games because that is the folder I have open in Zotero on my computer. This is the citation information and it's also saving the PDF. Easy, right? Another example. I did a search in Google Scholar for video games and violence. And then I clicked on this one, Violence in E-Rated Video Games. Now I'm in JAMA, it looks a little bit different than Sage, but once again, I can click on the Zotero connector. It'll ask me which folder, it defaulted to video games, and once again, it's saving the citation information, full text PDF, and a snapshot, which is a picture of the website as it is right now. One more example. I did a Google search, you can see it right up here, for video games and violence from a website that ends in .gov. I decided to click on this one from clinicaltrials.gov. Here is the website. Notice that my Zotero icon has changed. This will now save the information because it recognizes it's a website and that there is no PDF or full text article. Going back to Zotero, I open it up on my computer, and it has already synced. Those are the three things that I saved. The website, one article with PDF, and a second article with PDF. So that is one way to use the Zotero connector when you are on your home computer and have Zotero downloaded. That's it for now.